Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Kuramon with me, Jelenon, at Lunar Nebula Gaming. So, we have a few more pots where we can plant some stuff. Hmm. The Kado fruit, I already planted one. Do I, do I plant another? Or do we try to expand our repertoire? Let's expand the repertoire. All right, and then here, you know what? I think I will do another Kado fruit, maybe. Hmm. We just got the grappa fruit. You know what? We'll plant you. We'll plant you. Anything in this water barrel? No. No, indeed. Okay. What about you, sir? Cakes. Delicious, freshly baked cakes for your Koromon. Hmm. Oh, they're cheaper here? What? Or are they more expensive by some amount? Hmm. I think they might be... Oh, no, wait. Caffy cakes were like 200, right? So they're like plus 249 each. <sighs> okay. I figured since it costs money to get in here, it would cost more, but it fooled me for a bit with that 49. Oh, well. Timur says enjoy. All right. Abdul, get them here. The freshest fruits. Your Koraman will love them. You will love your Koraman loving them. And I'm betting, yeah. Oh, but we have no durian fruits. Hmm. So we could buy some in order to plant them elsewhere, but I have a feeling we'll just find them like fig fruits. I'm pretty sure I just planted all of those. Uh, hmm. But yeah. So if we ever like run out and realize we have issues, like the burr fruit, very good fruit, costs like double anything else. All right. Thank you, Abdul. Hey, you, traveler, over here. I have just what you are looking for. Strong, powerful slither pin. I'll tell you what. You buy one now. I'll even let you in on a little secret on how to evolve them sooner. Uh, perfect for three mil, huh? No, thank you. I'll be fine. Hmm. The best fragrances around. Smell like royalty. Okay, so we can buy scents here. Okay, cool. You'll smell like a perfumed seneschal. Okay. Well, I'd rather not be the guy that's considered the one that assassinates the kid, you know, you know. Let's, uh, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Horus has spinners if you have coin. Okay, that, that is definitely, uh, Khajiit has wares if you have coin. Reference. Yeah, everything more expensive. Okay. Okay. Well, now we know, but we can get golden spinners here. Hmm. Good hunting. Thank you, Horus. Sopo fruit. Also, Horus was the Egyptian god of, like, I don't know, Steph. Honor, maybe? Trusting a random note sent by a stranger? I cannot abide by such foolishness. I know a trap when I see one. If you are Indiana Jones, then where's your whip? You do what you want, but don't you dare involve me or any of the others. And I hate snakes. Okay, Archie is crying. Sad. Hello? This is the place, right? Oh, you really came. Archie, who is this? This is the one I told you about. The one at the Dawn Valley entrance. I figured it wouldn't hurt to have a battle researcher on our side. I didn't agree to anything yet. Yet is the key word. Let me do my best to persuade you. An anonymous sinner left us a note in the dead of night. Their rather lofty claim is that they can... Here it comes, you're gonna like this. They can... Help us reopen the digging site in Dawn Valley sooner than expected. Archie, this anonymous benefactor of ours could be anyone in the world. You're the only one in favor of meeting them. Yes, well... Haven't you ever fantasized about something like this? A call to action? A heroic adventure? It's all so exciting. But don't worry, I'll make sure I'm safe. I don't want to do anything crazy without backup. What do you say? You'll come with me, right? Right? Well, I do need to go to the Dawn Valley, but it's settled then. The sender of the note is apparently stationed inside the palace. But that palace is swarming with gods. More gods than you've ever seen. The only way inside will be by, um, borrowing one of their guard uniforms from the barracks. Meet me there, Jarno. The guard barracks are just east of the palace gardens. I'll be in position. Huh. Well, okay. This is a plan, I suppose. We did just meet each other. This king must have been a primpo. He was busted! Oh, the pun! <laughs> so, oh, a Lux Recall. Free? I'll take it. Um, yes, a bust is a type of statue 
which is just like the head. Yep. But in English, it also means other things. So, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Busting. Comic cake. Do, 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 do. All right then. <laughs> Anything else over here? We'll go get this. Ah, uh, spicy cake. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. So I can go through here. I'm watching you. We know. You should get a television. You like watching things. Just saying. It'd probably be better for your eyes. Uh, what's this? Anything? No? Pottery? Aha, comic cake. This is why we check. Uh, nothing over here. All those so-called archaeologists are digging for gems for their own gain. But they forget what archaeology is really about. I mean, look at this. I just discovered remains of an ancient city. Isn't that way more useful for society? Mmm, depends. Economics. But uh, in terms of more useful historically and knowing what happened, then uh, yeah. And if that ancient society had ancient ways to, you know, interact with Koromon, maybe they'd be helpful. Ow, cacti. Anyway, I see you down here. Coupon five free. Wait, what? Like five free items? I think we save that for Phoenix Stones if we can. Uh, where would you be, Coupon? Would you be in here? I forget where you are located. Uh, not there. Hmm. Coupon, coupon. Remind me. Oh yes, can I use my Pergy nibbles on my Pergy? No, I still haven't healed yet. Right, I was gonna teleport you heal, because that made sense. Five most expensive items for free. Oh, so it's automatic. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah, I kind of want to wait till there are phoenix stones in the shop. Okay, well, let's go teleport and heal after I grab this crate. Yoink! Special attack cake, special defense cake. Oh. I will bake a battle with those cakes, that's for sure. So we could go to the palace shortly. And those kiddos who probably drew on a Skuldra. I wonder if we can find that elsewhere. But uh, for now... Let's go back to Pawbury. Let's go. Apparently I still haven't seen one of the Koromon that can appear there. Intriguing. We also can note that the Koromon listed on here only show they're like... Hmm. No, no, I'm wrong. Never mind. There's a Lunar Wolf and Lunar Pup right there. So it shows like all of them. Period. Okay. I was thinking it only showed their youngest form, but I am wrong. Wrong, did we? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. Let us heal. Save 500 monies. Uh -huh. And then we go back. And use our Peggy nibbles, if we can. Uh, where did you go, Peggy nibbles? You're over here, right? Hmm. Use? Yeah, okay, it's for Peggy specifically. Pergy cherished the Pergy nipples. Aw, wonderful. Okay. Um, do we want to use any of these? I think not. Not, not, not now. Okay. Back to here. We still haven't seen two of the possible Koromon. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. That looked like a younger version of Sand Scale in that little picture, so I wonder. Huh. Oops, sorry, kids. Hmm. Well, at any rate, I should probably go back out to the desert the way we came, since I think there was a cave I missed out on. Why am I doing that? Uh, yes. Stairs. That's why. Yoink! Gotta get that cardio in somehow. Here we go. All right. We will go left and then right. Oh, or down. Hmm. So yeah, Dawn Valley. Uh, battle must be faced. Ruby. You shall see Phibio's wrath. Flaps. So this should one shot. Right, Ruby. We gotta get groovy and move on. 
Now, we're not getting much out of uh, these smaller battles now. I may want to go back and check on my fruits that I've planted elsewhere. <laughs> Hello, Gamma. You should be good XP. Hmm, I am curious. I'll try Splash to see if it does more than Cloud Burst. Okay, so we know it did 55 to a level 22 Digma at level 34 Fibio. So if, if, I'll use Slush, that should take it out. Um, if we find another level 22 Digma, we can see how much damage Cloud Burst will do. I'm betting it might actually be more. Surpike. I think Splash right now is going to be 34 power based on my level. But I don't know. I don't know. What about Cantano? Hmm. Okay, we can go this way. Yoink. 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 Okay. We have minimized contact with the enemy. And this row seems to have about the same amount of bushes, but. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the final amount. Okay. Do we this? We can go back. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. What about you, sir? Oh. This is our remote gem warehouse. Unauthorized personnel are not allowed inside. I mean, I guess that's fair. Annoying. Click things. <laughs> Scottable. Still need to find a Scarbo. Hmm. Okay, well, you're level 24. If you take more from this, it's probably a good indicator that Cloudburst is better at the moment. It wasn't a critical hit, so yeah. Okay. I think Cloudburst is still just better than Splash. Of course, it could just have worse special defense than Digmo, but uh, unlikely. Unlikely. Alright, especially since it seemed like an all-rounder when we took a look at it earlier. But it's evolved for stats. Jellish much? So jelly. Hmm. Oh, you're potent. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I think we slush. Get some accuracy. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna hurt a little bit. Oh my goodness. That hurt a lot a bit. It's almost 40 damage. We got the poison off. Let's make it less accurate, or we can go for precision punch, which probably won't do much. Accuracy. Decrease it, please. 46 becomes 35. 11 damage. Oh, confusion. I are confused now. Oh, more SP. Hmm. Let's then... Oh my goodness, everything costs like twice as much. Uh, we will slush. And then the poison should probably take it out, right? Ooh, great. Okay. We will take it. Accuracy increased! But we're gonna switch you out because Hazy isn't playing. Okay then. Maybe you're getting some good XP though. Well, this is annoying, but we will switch into Dugterra, try to see if we can steal some coinage. It's probably going to hurt a lot to do this. Dugterra's culture is level 30. We didn't attack, though, so Revenge Jaws didn't do anything. Ha! Huh, sucker. Okay. Coin snatch. Well, it did 8 damage. That's something, but it's not much. Salmon. Oh, I'm going to sleep. No. No. Ah. Oh. Poor Dark. Okay, well, we have coffee cakes. Made for the coffee lovers. Yoink. Mm hmm. There it is. Okay, acid bite. Ow. My pain. Okay, defense decreased. Coins. Coinage. Now, we're so close to the city that if I do have Dugterra faint or something soon, we can just teleport and get some more stuff done. Final coin snatch. Wonderful. Okay, tricky. 
um... Okay, that actually did less than Acid Bite, weirdly enough. We'll just Poison Chomp in return. Seems fair to return the favor. More Acid Bite. I am very surprised you survived that, Doctoro, but I am glad. Oh, uh, we want Tricky Claws here. I think Seismic Wave would be potentially terrible. Apparently so is Tricky. Yeah. Okay. We were going to go down to Revenge Jaws there. Let's send out Spike. Get some more XP. Go, Spike. Our Sir Pike. Which I should probably just name you Spike, if I'm going to keep calling you that. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well. Sir Pike. There we go. Nathan. Hey, level up. Hmm. Plus three attack, huh? That's not so bad. Not so bad at all. Give you earn some stuff as well. Wonderful. Keep moving. If you're not Alon or his esteeming guest, I will not allow you inside this gym warehouse. Okay. Oh, well, we got some money. Doctera took one for the team. Thank you, Doctera. Uh, we can move Rumasek to the front or Purgy to the front. Let's move Purgy to the front. Yoink. Hmm. Do I want to do anything else here? Probably not, right? Right. Hmm. Okay, so we've done that stuff. A good potential reader are Sir Pike. I don't think I've done that yet. Okay. It's not a very good potential value. So that's a little sad. Hmm. But oh well. What else were we going to look out for? Ah, battle. Dude, really? I just got here. This is my digging spot and I ain't Sharon. Well, your name isn't Sharon, that's for sure. All right, pretty bait. We're seeing you again after quite a while. Fergie has some news for you, pretty bait. And that news is it's nighttime. Go Twilight. Uh, face slap still hits them. <laughs> Unfortunate. Critical hit, not very effective. Uh, the kitty claws don't really care about people's effectiveness, I think. Well, I appear to be wrong. Okay, never mind. Hmm. It seemed to say like 15% of their HP, but I don't know. I'm not sure I trust that description based on how it seems to work. Ah, uh, we'll use Premonition. Superstition. Do, do, do. Okay. But because Pinterbite doesn't take much damage from Pergy, we should definitely switch it out. Squad. Too bad I didn't, uh, revive Dugterra so that we could steal money again. Hmm. We'll go with Lumisect. Go, Lumisect. Earn some XP. You're up, Lumo Sent. Mm -hmm. Face slap again. No, not the face. Ah, oh, starts to feel hazy. Unfortunate. Oh, Premonition did a good amount of damage, though, even at half. Or does it ignore that? Huh, I wonder. Uh, this kind of stinks, but we do have energy drain, so it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. That was a crit. Hmm. Okay, Propeller Punch could flinch us, knock us down. Uh, nope, Twilight ended. Everybody ate a Jebba Fruit. I'm going to Energy Drain! Okay. Energy for me! Excellent. And then, hopefully a Quad Volt can do it. Quad Volt! Eh, uh, not quite. Hella punch, no longer feeling hazy. Hey, got the schnot knocked out of me, and now I can think clearly again. Apparently, I don't think that works in real life, but we're going to assume it does. For now, in quote. Okay, a little insect. Good work. 907 XP. Fergie got half of that. Sir Pike got some potential. Okay, so its attack is pretty good. 
We're still trying to kind of make it an all-rounder. So let's do that. Focus on the defense on Sir Pike. Because of its reconstitution trait. Mudma. Okay, are you a water type? You are a ghosty magic person. Okay. Well, ghostly magic person, I have energy drain. I also have swarm diversion, though, so let's do that first. Make you less accurate. Mm -hmm. That's right. Miss. Okay, energy drain. Get some of that sweet, sweet SP back in my belly. There we go. Eat up. Uh, hit twice because that's how many people have gone down. I can quad volt, try to shock. I don't know how worthwhile that is. Well, seemed pretty good. Aha. And our one swarm diversion caused it to miss twice. Excellent. That was excellent. Alright. Good job, Lumosect. Almost back up to full SP as well. Thank you, Trey. Hey, level 32. More speed for you. A little more special attack and special defense as well. Taser? What's that? Senegal. Okay, it will cause shock. I still like her quad vault, swarm diversion, energy drain, whoosh stuff. Hmm. We don't really have any other air attacks, so I think we should keep it. I think we should. But we could easily say no to Woosh for Taser. It's just we have a chance with Quad Volt to shock, and with Swarm Diversion, we're gonna Quad Volt more often. I don't think we go for Taser right now. Okay then. Hey, Fergie. We've got some more potential. Okay, special attack. Hmm. Yeah, all of your stats are just kind of meh at the moment. Hmm. I guess we'll put it all into special attack for now. Pretty good level 33. I'm hoping its stats get pretty good when it evolves. We did give it some other stuff. Oh, sure, too. You're a water type, ain't you? Yes. Quaggle. Okay, you're fully rested, so you take 40% less damage. Very effective, though. This is going to hurt a little bit. Not nearly as much as I thought. Uh, Sheer Tooth is the defensive base starter. Ah, oh, I thought that would take it out. Splash. Okay. Well, the splash was definitely better than Faint Spurts. Hmm. Good work, Moonsect. Take it out now. You're up, Sir Pike. Wow. He's gotta get you, like, a helmet or something to make you look more like a knight. Use Acid Bite. There it is. Okay, then. Sir Pike. Hey, level up. Okay, then. Okay. Still decently. Oh, Super Drain unlocked. Well, okay. Deal damage and drain HP for half of the damage done. Yes, we do want that. Rising attack and defense is good. We don't care about Constrict. We don't care about Toughen Up. I could get Poison Sting, but it's kind of meh at this point in the game. So we'll take Drain and Super Drain instead. Yes. Excellent. I keep forgetting to go in and change your moon, so I'm glad that happened. Challenge defeated Ayla. This spot is mine. All mine. I'm never giving it up. Not even if you have to drag me away from it. Ah, We could have gotten some money with Coin Snatch there. But oh well. Okay. Great. My drill shovel stopped working. <laughs> oh, man. Well, we're going to use our drill shovel, because we can. Jim detected it one steps away and nine steps away. What? Okay. Um, hmm. It'd be nice if there was... Oh, wait. Can I just click the letter G? Two steps away. And to, so it has to be... Here? Ish. G. No, G doesn't seem to work. G. That's just saying it's the gold one. Okay. Two steps away. So it was one step away from here. This didn't work. This didn't work. I can't go on there. Does diagonal count? Hmm. One 
step away. So is it right underneath Ayla? Is that what's going on? She literally can't. Yeah. <laughs> okay, interesting. So yeah, nine steps away. Uh, let's try over here-ish. Two steps away and eight steps away. The eight steps away has to be where she is, so two steps away. Let's try like right here. Now, if, if you could make certain that all of these gems are always in the same place, then you could definitely go with the other shovel. And that would probably work. Gym detected. Hey! Okay. And then another one seven steps away and ten steps away. Okay, this person looks like they might like the sauna water we bought. You could try that. Hey, are you okay? Man, oh man, that was just way too close for comfort. I sure could go for a bit of spa treatment right about now. Excuse me, please. Wait, what's going on? What's behind there? Pain and suffering. Aye, pain and suffering. Just imagine, here I was exploring the area for a new Koromon rumored to be here. And the next thing I know, I'm on my back, flat on the ground, like a pancake. Then when I opened my eyes, oh, the horror. Just thinking about it puts a shiver in my bones. When I opened my eyes, there was this mass of Skuldra just a few inches away from my face, growling, drooling, snarling, like some sort of rabid beast. So I ran, ran for my dear life. Because deer like to run. A Koromon attacking humans on sight. I don't understand. Surely it must have gone mad. But I locked out the area, so the denizens passing through should all be safe now. Anyways, the spa in town, it awaits me. I'm out of this popsicle stand. Oh, we can just push that rock. Because we have the magic powers of technology. Technology saving. Okay, push. Drill shovel because we can, right here. Mm. Five steps away, huh? And another one, 14. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder if they can be in the grass. It'd be interesting to find out. Eight. Nine. I don't think so. Uh, did I drill shovel right here? Can't remember. Two steps away. Let's try here. Gym mm -hmm. detected. Ooh, blue gym. Nice. You know, I wonder. If we go back into that shop and switch directly to the the silver drill shovel before we turn in those gems. Can we save money? <laughs> okay, that must be the sculpture the kids drew on. That's my current guess. Okay, let's save. Uh, pretty might be fine. Eh, Fibio's still a little hazy, but you know what, Fibio? You can twitch in. All right. Yep, you look mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they drew eyes on it. Uh, nope. I'm a little hazy. Uh, you are standard. I was hoping you'd be like a perfect or a potent or something, but eh, that's okay. That's okay. Cloud burst, Fibio. Make it rain. Yeah, if we never talked to the kids, we'd never know. Oh. Good night, Skulltra. Take a nap. Calm down. Hey, Fibio. There we go. Pike. Excellent. Yeah, Fibio is fine on levels now. I don't think we need any stuff on Fibio. Okay, well that Skuldra is now, you know, not going to be mean to anyone, so that's good. Now really it was the kid's fault in the first place. Old item. Let's give it to... I don't know. Luma set. Replace. There it is. Okay. Uh, and then we can check our milestones in a second. Nothing else really beneficial for taking out that skull drum. Okay. Okay. But we did it. We did it. Hmm. Maybe you can force that to be a perfect skull drum or something? Oh, we did what we wanted to. We saw more of the story. Which is most excellent. Slither him. 
Let's go video. Let's go video. Hmm. We don't have terribly much SP, but we'll, we'll go ahead and use Cloud Burst. Oh, it hits both? Oh, excellent. I was wondering if any moves would do that. Now we know. Cloud Burst don't care. Accuracy. Accuracy. That hurts me. Defense gone. Okay. Well, Cloud Burst doesn't care about your defense. It's both. If we crit, that would be nice, but I doubt it will crit one and not the other. I have a feeling that would be not how this calculates, but I don't know. We haven't really figured that out yet, so let's find out. Eventually. Cloud Burst. More speed, Vivio! And I would like to give you some more special attacks since we keep using special attack. Okay. Sort of bike. Lumisect. Purgy. There we go. Alright. So yeah, Lumisect should catch up shortly. Oh, I'm no longer hit. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, what? I missed you, Phoenix Shard? Wow. I feel bad about that. Uh, yep, we've already explored everything else, so we should be good. Okay. Then, dear viewer, leave a like if you have enjoyed our Coromon adventure today. Comment below on whether or not you think our drill shovel plan could work. <laughs> I might try it before. You know what? Let's try it before we log out. Hmm. Hmm. All right. And I've already caught you, right, Scintilla? Dry wind. Unfortunate. You're really going to dry out Fibio's skin. If you're high enough level, I kind of just want to take you down for XP. Alright then. What will you do? Critical hit. Very effective. Alright then. Hey, Lumisect Crew. Excellent. Gotta catch up. Okay then. Wait, I checked this statue, right? Yep. I didn't push it though. There we go. Alright. Um, hmm. Back we will go to the top. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what I should do? Let's do this real fast. Nothing else. And then... Drill shovel. No gym stick. Oh. Come on, this is a big old pit. I think there'd be gems here. Maybe right over here. Mm-hmm. Nope. Okay. I mean, it makes sense it would have been swept clean, but... Just saying. Just saying. Uh, let's go... Pikachu and Eevee. R&D video games. Let's see, can I... Okay, not familiar with gyms already. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right, game. You've out. You've outdone yourself here. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Okay then. Quite a haul. Four hundred eighty. Okay. Better than nothing. And I am a little too lazy to care about this smaller surface area. So, oh well. We we will call it an episode. Leave a like if you have enjoyed. Grandma. Comment below on what you think of the shovels. And I hope you, dear viewer, have a great day.